Praise the Lord, everyone. I'm Uday Kritika Damodaran from India, Tamil Nadu. I'm an aspirant astronaut, specialist technician of aircraft maintenance engineer, as well as private pilot. I just got my license. So I'm so happy to stay with Stylom uh, to spend my part of journey here. So the church, it is kind of blessing to me because I prayed for this church before I came to South Africa. God blessed me with a good church and good fellowship. I'm so happy to be here. So when I was at school, so like I just wanted to become an astronaut without, without any kind of um, motivation. Just I want to become an astronaut to, uh, to see space, stars and planets, everything. So uh, then after I got saved, then God uh, clearly told me that this, this is the vision that, uh, that he has uh, given to me. So I should follow his path. So, um, so I totally surrendered myself to the vision that he has given to me. And after my school, I directly went to Ukraine to do my undergraduation, actually. So I did specialist technician of aircraft maintenance engineering in Kharkiv National Air Force University, Ukraine. So I was there for four years. So while I was doing my final year, I prayed to Lord, Lord, what is the next step? Because you brought me here, it's gonna be finished. What is the next step? So he revealed the path because um, at the time in Poland, they conducted international astronaut training uh, from the people around the world. So I attended the exams and the medical uh, fitness uh, exams and all the certification process. By God's grace, I selected to attend to represent India in the International uh, Space Research Conference and the astronaut training. So I am glad. I was very glad. So I went to Poland, uh, Saturn Astronaut Training Center and Polish Military Institute of Aviation Medicine. So I was the first female candidate who did the centrifuge training and uh, hyperbaric chamber training. Uh, so uh, in the Poland history, actually before that they didn't allow anyone other than um, military personnel to attend the high level um, hectic trainings because it may cause you even to serious uh, problems, health issues, or you could die. So kind of that uh, thing. So they allowed the first time for civilians. So by God's grace, I was the first person who attended that. So after finishing 10 kinds of training in Poland, I came back to India. So one thing I must say that, so after my schooling, my parents couldn't support me financially. So I totally depend on God. So God provided the sponsorship throughout East, West, not South. Really, I, I could say that because people I don't even know, people I never seen them. They just call me because they they saw some newspaper articles and magazine reports and some news channels where they knew, knew about me. So they called and they asked about my things. They just provide money for my accommodation or the training or my journey, my flight ticket somehow. So God met all the needs throughout this day. So till this day, he uh, carried me with his hands. So I thank God for that. So after finishing the training in Poland, I, I came back to India. So then I pray the Lord, Lord, what is the next time? Because the thing is, um, to become an astronaut in um, America or Europe, so we know a few people already went there. So we, we can follow their paths, whatever training they already taken, we can follow them. But in India, it's the first time they are gonna send humans. So we don't know which way to follow, what training we, I have to take for the next step. We don't know anything. So even in the Google or in textbook, we can't find anything. So I was the first uh, woman and I was the first candidate uh, who started these like, um, this is like, um, it's a big journey, like to become a national in India. So at that time, even I couldn't get any help from official uh, scientists from uh, Indian Space Research Organization or anyone. So I, what I do is really, this is the thing that I pray, that I ask God because I'll search about things. I search about astronauts who already went to space, what are the trainings they already taken and everything. So I mark it down and I pray, Lord, which way please so show to me and what are the step I have to take uh, the, for the next thing. So I pray uh, with fasting and everything, God led me like through this. Um, so uh, the next thing, so God showed me like you have to become a pilot. So then 
I uh, searched about that more, why God wanted me to become a pilot. So then I realized a pilot has um, more uh, technical and uh, like theoretical knowledge about, the, about to handle the spacecraft and the capsule manually, even in any emergency conditions. And they have the experience to cooperate with the crew member and they can be a commander of the spaceship. So I realized so it is an important thing. So that's why God told me to become a pilot. So when then I tried to like up, uh, go to Canada actually to take training. So uh, again and again the visa got cancelled and I waited in the lot not one day, not two days. So it was two years I totally surrendered myself and I waited on the Lord because Lord, whenever the time is right, whenever you are uh, you are like asking me to me to go to like start the training, I, I'll do it. So till that I'll wait. So kind of that I wait here. So God opened a way to come to South Africa when I tried to come to South Africa because after knowing this is the God's will. So I got the visa within 10 days. So I came here before. Once I got the visa, I started praying for the good church. Lord, I need because wherever I go, if I get the correct church, if I get the correct fellowship with God, then I, that means I get everything. So uh, I prayed for the good church. So the first week I came to South Africa, January 16, the first day. So I asked my landlord to like help me to show church near right here. So uh, I will, I'm really close to the church, really in the one kilometer away. So he uh, dropped me to the asylum. So uh, when I, uh, so the first time I was here, so I felt this is the right place and this is the place that God has for me uh, to grow in him. Uh, so uh, the, till the last day that I'm in South Africa. So I got connected with Siloam. Siloam, uh, it, it, like it has done many things. It, uh, it has impacted with me like in my spiritual life because I grew a lot. It elevated my faith. And because I'm in a kind of, particular vision you know like most of mental struggles physical struggles and kind of because there is a lot of competitions in India and because I'm a girl who came from a village that no one like many people don't know like where my place is so kind of that place God brought me to like to here so I have many uh, kind of like mental pressures and physical uh, pressures to like com accomplish his ways and everything so that God helped me to hold my faith and uh, uh, like pursuing his will like throughout Siloam. So every time I attend Sunday service and Tuesday service, like because I how, how like I want to uh, be in the church, be in the presence of the Lord as much as I can, because the, that is where I can get my strength. Because in, uh, in this July 15, like that was my birthday. So God gave me the verse because every year I pray. So he'll give the verse for the new year. So this year he gave me like Habakkuk 3, chapter 3, verse 19 says, like he is my strength. The Lord is himself is my strength. So I take that as my, that's the promised word uh, of this year. So God helped me throughout this journey. And Siloam helped me a lot to pray in fasting, uh, to seek the Lord faithfully, and in many things. So I just want to share this testimony with you. So uh, because I already told that because people are sponsoring uh, to my studies and my trainings. So one company, uh, they promised me to send the tuition fees directly uh, to the academy. So I was waited for a long time, kind of seven months, but they didn't send. So finally, what they said is like they couldn't help me because of kind of uh, situation in their company. So it kind of totally abandoned by them. So I trusted the Lord. The month of July, um, Siloam conductor in the time to prosper the theme. So Siloam conductor seven days fasting prayer. So with faith, I started to fast. And other thing, Siloam always encouraged to give offering. I honor the Lord with the best because God helped me to like give uh, whatever I, I have, even in the in my poverty, even in my dry conditions, God helped me to give everything to him. So I, with prayer, with faith, I made the covenant with church vision and I, God helped me to give, uh, give the best to the church and the people who needs, uh, who needs uh, help. So I did uh, what God want me, wanted me to do. So I, I attended the seven days fasting prayer with church. So God miraculously opened the door. What is that? So I have somebody submitted the application to the Tamil Nadu government, uh, which is the state government of India. 
uh, for uh, like many months ago. So they kept my file is in a pending case. Uh, they didn't like, because they already supported me. So they didn't open the file. So when I got rejected by the company, I couldn't get any sponsorship. I started praying with fasting the church. So God opened the door from the government. So I, I didn't even expect the door was opened and Tamil Nadu government, they came to sponsor for my tuition fees. You know, what is my what was my tuition fees? It's like $400,000, correction, sorry, 400,000 rands I had to pay to the academy. So it is a huge money, we all know. So Tamil Nadu government sponsored me 300,000 rands for my tuition fees. And God helped me to arrange with all the remaining monies and I paid with one shot. So I, because even though the uh, new quotation of this year, it has raised, uh, comparing last year quotation, fees quotation, God helped me to pay the last year quotation uh, with, with his grace and he got me a favor in my academy CEO highs. So I paid all the CPL commercial pilot training amount. Uh, so here in, uh, to my academy, so God met all my needs, even though um, I'm not like every month, I'm waiting uh, for the sponsorship for my accommodation and my food, living expenses. God is meeting all the needs whenever I need. Uh, even before 30 minutes I pay rent, even before 10 minutes I pay rent, I never delay to pay rent because, uh, because God helped me to connect with him, help me to covenant, uh, be a covenant with church, help me to give offering and tithes uh, for his namesakes, to obey his commandments. He is blessing me whatever ways, whichever ways I need. So God is faithful throughout my journey and he is till now. I'm so glad I'm, in, I'm with Siloam because Siloam is kind of family to me. Even though I'm going to leave this country after four or five months, I just wanted to stay. I'm praying God as much as I can. I want to stay in South Africa to be in Siloam because uh, here I find his presence every time we worship, every time I, I'm in Siloam, I can feel his presence presence I can elevate my faith I can strengthen in him uh, so I can like um, I can get close with him as much as I can so I love Siloam I thank uh, all the pastors and the deacons and the leaders and the team and every volunteer in this church who helped me who helping us who are helping us to um, get close with God to know him more uh, to feel his presence every time I thank you everyone thank you for the love you are showing to me because uh, even though I'm from another country and from India you don't me at all don't me at all but every time whenever I see you people you are encouraging me you're wishing me you're pouring your love to me that is kind of a blessing really in silo so I, I haven't seen this much kind of love even I travel many countries silo is kind of special uh, to like you're sharing your love and you're taking care of people that you don't you don't uh, don't you know so I'm so glad I'm with you all um, then uh, I really thank and I pray for you I thank you for the testimony that God has given me. I'm sure that you are blessed with my testimony. God bless you. Thank you.